Today's agenda is swatching 120 Ohuhu alcohol-based art markers and a few notes about the subject of finding your style. Hello, I'm Mervi, an artist and illustrator from Finland. So let's first talk a little bit about the, the markers. Uh, so they are of Oahu's Oahu series and I chose them based on the variety of colors, especially I was looking for a wide range of skin tones from very light to very dark. Uh, but also variety on other colors and I had a budget so I went with the Oahu series because it's a bit cheaper than than the Honolulu series is and I have been doing some uh, artworks little little uh, drawings and one landscape with these markers so far and I'm already loving them. They're very, very flowy and very vivid colors. So yeah, I haven't tried making any um, portraits yet, but uh, that's to come later on. The subject of finding your style seems to be a hot topic amongst artists and illustrators. Um, I see people on Instagram talking about it, on YouTube talking about it. So I guess guess lots of people are, have lots of interest in it. And um, there's both like, I don't know, I haven't yet found my style. And then uh, advice on how to find your style going around. And uh, I have a few thoughts about that. So first of all, uh, I've been thinking about why people are so obsessed with this subject. And I think it's a mix of things. For one, uh, for the past, I don't know, 10, 15 years, there's been this, this rise of uh, these um, online business preacher types who have been talking a lot about how you should find a niche and by the way they are often using the niche a bit I mean it's not quite correct uh, way to use the term marketing term niche um, but they mean with it uh, that you should have a specialty uh, often they want you to have a very narrow specialty that you can sell to to customers uh, so and that and that same time that's been going on um, there's been we have seen this rise of these algorithms uh, on social media on on Google and other search engines on uh, YouTube, you know, all, all over the place, these kind of uh, recommendation algorithms, which uh, they seem to think that you have only very narrow interests. So if you watch a video on one subject, then you get recommended videos on that same subject all over and over again. And that also means that if you are posting stuff on different subjects, it seems a bit, they may think you are being a bit spammy or, you know, a bit all over the place. So the, <clears throat> the stuff you post doesn't get recommended as much to people because it's, it's not on a narrow subject. And also, these algorithms, they expect a certain amount of sameness. So, if another person is gaining success posting art, for instance, we are talking about art here, so let's talk about that, uh, as posting a certain type of art, then 
you are expected to post that same type of art because the algorithms expect people to only be interested in that one type of art. Which I think is a mistake. It's in part it's because the people who uh, make decisions about these algorithms and make these algorithms, they are they believe in that whole um, spe specializing thing. They believe everyone has just you know one or two very narrow uh, interests instead of having multiple wide range of interests uh, so so it's a combination of that niche niche uh, talk the business people to do and the the, the algorithms uh, computers being very you know they are binary they don't understand nuances they don't understand well they don't understand things because they are just computers it's also a matter of confidence. You may be seeing other people succeeding and you're not succeeding like them and, and they are doing certain type of art and you're like, well, if I did that kind of art or if I used those same art supplies, maybe I would be successful as well. That's not exactly how success works. It's more random. It's, it's a combination of different things and lots of like this just happened to happen i happened to be in the right place at the right time so that's a that's another reason why you might be thinking that you haven't found your style because you are not making that sort of successful art like other people are I've noticed an interesting thing um, in myself as well as others that sometimes you don't see your own style the same way as others do. do. Like maybe it's some sort of a thing that you get too obsessed with um, with details, maybe you get too obsessed with your own mistakes or something like that. Mm, but other people will see your style in a very different way than you see your style. They see, uh, uh, they are more likely to see um, um, a style emerging where you are like, well, these are separate artworks of separate subjects with made with separate um, uh, supplies. And it's like uh, sometimes someone is saying I, I need to find my style and I'm looking at the art and I'm like what do you need to find it's there I can see it there's clearly a style here in, in your art but that's a, that's a similar thing to like if you sometimes write lots of text it, it can be difficult to um, to to see the the mistakes, the typos and grammar errors in the text right after you have been writing it because you are too close to the text. You may may like years later realize there was there was you should have written it differently or whatever. But uh, at the moment or even ne near to that moment you are not seeing it and in the same way uh, it goes with your art, with your drawings, with your paintings. You may not see the the whole, the how they are come together. Those artworks come together. So my advice here is to first of all draw a lot or paint a lot. Just keep making art a lot. Because the more you do, the more you learn different skills, you learn different techniques. 
So let the style kind of emerge organically from all that making art. I also recommend to try different techniques, different styles, different um, subject matters and of course different art supplies and if you're like well I, I can't afford all those art supplies uh, go to check on the cheap stuff, the stuff that's sold for children they're not maybe as great in quality as the you know more professional art uh, stuff but uh, they give you a good good insight to what sort of um, supplies there is out there and and you can then maybe invest into the the better supplies after you have decided okay I, I like these I like those also if you are really serious about finding your style put your art out there see what other people say about it and also later on when you have a little distance to your to your previous art you can go back and and see the you know what what connects the art what differentiates it how it's different from other people's art how it's similar to other people's art and so forth and so on and also show the mistakes the imperfections the artworks you think failed somehow the thing is people like different things there will be do those who like uh, what you do and those who don't like what you do so it and that's that's fine you can't please everyone but remember there, there's always someone who will like what you do no matter what you do i i see that all the time i see art i don't like and other people are like wow this is the best thing i have ever seen and on the other hand i see art i don't i, I like but it's not getting um, the recognition i think it should be getting so that that's going to happen and that's fine Art is an ongoing learning process, so let it evolve. Don't try to stick into one style or one genre because you know you think you have to be consistent in that way. Learn new things, try new things and 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 let your art evolve. Let it change, let it let your skills uh, get better or <laughs> worse in time whatever happens uh, just just let your art grow and move and evolve so what i'm trying to say here is don't box yourself in and let the art kind of happen and let your art, uh, art style happen other people will brand you anyway, other people will see, people are really good at seeing patterns, so even when there are no patterns, which is why, you know, all kinds of um, conspiracy theories are rampant, but uh, people will see uh, a pattern in your art, even if you don't see it, other people will see it, so just keep making art that's that's my whole message here on this subject okay i think i've rambled enough today uh, i hope you enjoyed watching the swatching part of this video and i hope you enjoyed my my rambles on the subject of finding your style and if you did please subscribe if you haven't already like and comment and uh, if you want you can go into the comments and s tell me what you would like to hear me ramble about next time okay thank you i'll see you around bye